Robin Williams' first wife recently came forward in a heartbreaking confession, saying that she tolerated her late husband's infidelity for 10 years of their marriage. She allowed the actor to step out of their marriage, hoping he would stop once he was satisfied. Instead, she was unknowingly feeding his lust to a point where Williams left her for their child's nanny. Williams had a successful career, but behind closed doors, his relationships were failing, and his life was falling apart. And alcohol is especially dangerous for people like myself, alcoholics. Or you can say ethanol challenge, whatever you want to call it. With three different marriages, his death left havoc among his family who couldn't agree on the actor's will. Which wife deserved more? Valerie, who tolerated years of infidelity? Marsha, who spent over 20 years by his side while he struggled with substance abuse? Or Susan, who was married to him when he passed? Williams was a broke actor desperately trying to make it when he met Valerie Velarde and caught her attention. He had nothing, not a dime to his name, no fame and no power. So the only thing Valerie fell for was the real him. The man we all knew and loved. The guy who had a gentle heart, an outspoken personality, and the ability to make anyone laugh uncontrollably. Who could ever forget Mrs. Doubtfire? Or the line he improvised in Goodwill Hunting that left Matt Damon chuckling in tears. He was bartending, he had a French accent, offered me a drink, chatted me up and was absolutely delightful, she shared. He asked me for a ride home. He was speaking French and I was teasing him and we had a kiss. And I just knew I was going to see him again. But soon, Valerie would realize that she was not the only one who fell in love with those qualities about Williams. When the actor was finally noticed for one of his stand-up skits, he got a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to star in the popular Mork and Mindy show, which kick-started his career. And after appearing in one show after the other, more gigs began lining up for the comedy star. By this time, Robin and Valerie's non-stop dates had turned into marriage vows. From the outside, the couple seemed perfect to all that knew them. Their love seemed simple and rosy. But in reality, things were complicated and they were trying hard to hide the cracks in their marriage. The truth behind their perfect family picture was a devastating story. With each anniversary they shared, Williams moved a step closer to fame, his career growing bigger and bigger. That aspiring star was no longer a bartender. He wasn't some nobody making jokes at odd hours in a nightclub. He had now become one of the most loved men on the Hollywood scene hanging around with big names like Robert De Niro in the flashy city of LA. And with temptation luring him in from every angle, those vows he once said slowly lost their value. Fame is a bit like open heart surgery with a spoon, really. It's, it takes time, there's enjoyable moments, and there's other moments where you go, oh no. Williams could not resist the charming and impulsive life of fame and began stepping out of his marriage. Worst of all, his wife knew the whole time. While Williams continued seeing other women, Valerie did all that she could to keep their relationship intact. She even convinced herself to tolerate his infidelity, hoping that it was just a phase he would outgrow. He loved women, absolutely loved women, and I got it. I understood and I wanted him to have that, but I also wanted him to come home. Despite all her efforts, Williams left her unhappy and heartbroken. While trying to keep their marriage together, the couple welcomed their son, Zachary. This could have been a beautiful opportunity for the couple to grow closer to one another, but instead, they grew apart. Marcia Garces was the woman who was meant to help lift a weight off the couple's shoulders. Barely having enough time for one another, they needed her to help with raising Zach. Having kids initially, for me, the first time I actually started to talk about my life was the, the HBO special that I filmed at the Met where I talked about having kids and having to kind of put it together and really having responsibilities. Mm -hmm. Little did Valerie know that by hiring her, she had just made the biggest mistake ever, one that would cement the end of her and Robin's marriage. William's wandering eye was not limited to the flirtatious women in showbiz. In fact, the woman who would lure him away from his relationship was right under his nose, taking care of his son the whole time. It wasn't long after his divorce to Valerie that he quickly moved on with Marsha, which left many questions in the air. Did their affair only begin once Williams was divorced, or was he cheating with her all along? 
Who knows when their love affair started? But one thing was clear, Robin was ready to start a life with Marsha. Shortly after his divorce, Williams proposed to Marsha, and they said I do while she was carrying their first daughter, Zelda. The following year, the couple welcomed a second child, Cody, into their family. And I also want to share this award with a uh, very special woman, a Lifetime Achievement Award. <laughs> with Marsha, I would like to give you the uh, Croix du Coeur for living with a comedian. It's an interesting job, isn't it? But during what became almost two decades together, Robin was tempted by something else. And this time, it wasn't just another woman who could have destroyed his marriage, but something that could have destroyed his life. As the world soon discovered, there was a shockingly dark truth behind Robin's comedic personality. He presented the world with the most contagious happiness and reasons to smile, while fighting depression in real life. And it was during this time that substance abuse seemed like the perfect escape. William's battle with illegal substances and alcohol really hurt his marriage. The actor took some time in rehab, hoping to recover. That's another side of yourself that even you don't know. It's like uh, Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Jack Daniels. There is another person who appears. Unfortunately, after working so hard to better himself, he relapsed again. Finally, a family intervention is what gave him a wake-up call. The actor realized what was at stake. He didn't want to lose his children and decided to check himself in for therapy a second time. And although this time he stayed on track, it was not enough to keep his relationship afloat. He won back the hearts of his children, but sadly it was a little too late for his marriage. Recalling how his battle affected the love he shared with Marsha, the actor said, You know, I was shameful, and you do stuff that causes disgust, and that's hard to recover from. You could say, I forgive you, and all that stuff, but it's not the same as recovering from it. It's not coming back. And that just left everyone wondering what it was that Williams did that was so shameful. Was he just being hard on himself, or did he truly mess up what he had with Marcia to the point of no return? Williams' son seems to believe that his father didn't see himself in the same light that others did. The most successful person I know. And yet, he, he didn't always feel that. The legendary comedian did not perceive himself as successful. Now, he may have bagged an Oscar for his role in Good Will Hunting, and had dozens more critical acclaim to his name, but maybe that wasn't enough. Maybe he was longing to excel in things that added more value to his life, like love, fatherhood, and general happiness. The moment they say your name when you win, English becomes a second language. <laughs> and I forgot to thank my mother, and she was in the audience. Oh. Yeah, that's, even the therapist went, get out! <laughs> Fortunately for Williams, life gave him a third chance at love, with graphic designer Susan Schneider. Williams shared that this time he wanted to take things slow. He had jumped into his first relationship and right into his second, and now he just wanted to take his time with the new romance. But love had other plans, and just a year after his divorce, he was walking down the altar for the third time. Williams may have quickly moved on, but it was said that he still harbored a large amount of guilt for what happened between him and Marsha. Who could blame him? Those were 19 unforgettable years of his life. Just as one thing was fixed in the actor's life, another one broke. The little idiosyncrasies that only I knew about. That's what made her my wife. Oh, and she had the goods on me too. She knew all my little peccadilloes. He had mended his relationships and found love again. But the substance abuse may have already done its damage on Robin's heart. Williams received the most devastating news about his health. The actor needed to undergo heart surgery to replace his aortic valve and correct his irregular heartbeat. Though the surgery was successful, its after effects may have affected the actor's mental health. Depression is considered one of the side effects of cardiac surgery. Since Robin had a history of struggling with depression, doctors believed that it might have triggered his downward spiral. And so, something that was meant to improve his quality of life ended up leading to his demise. After years of fighting his demons and feeling like he was losing every time, Williams eventually lost his battle with depression. The actor left all his loved ones completely heartbroken when he took his own life in 2014. Even more crushing for his family, the actor was reportedly misdiagnosed with Parkinson's disease as an autopsy later revealed that he actually had Lewy body dementia. It wasn't long after laying his body to rest that a battle broke out between William's new wife and her stepchildren. 
With all the pain and loss they had already experienced, this was just rubbing salt into the wound. The late legend had left a hefty $100 million, plus his estate to his children. However, in needing to provide for his wife, she was allowed to remain in the house they shared together. Although it would eventually be inherited by his kids, William's children had no issue with this. The bad blood arose when it came down to the actor's possessions. No matter how much money each party received, some things are just priceless. And for Zachary, Zelda, and Cody, those were the items they held dear to their father's memory. Like his entertainment awards, including six Golden Globes, five Grammys, two Emmys, and an Oscar. They also wanted other belongings that existed before his third marriage, like personal photos, the tuxedo he wore on his wedding day, jewelry, and prized possessions. Susan, on the other hand, felt as though Williams wanted her to live in their house the way it was before he passed, without anything being removed or disrupted. The kids felt it was just greed and a sneaky way of wanting to increase the value of the trust their father left for her, despite being married to him for less than three years. Who was in the wrong? Susan for wanting to remember her life with Robin as it was? Or Robin's children for wanting rightful possessions that reminded them of their father? What do you think, juicers? Let us know in the comments section below, and thank you for choosing Rumor Juice.